Hey you guys, what is going on? It is Minitough, and today I'm going to show you how to make a Minecraft server. So let's go ahead and get on into it. The first step is to head on over to minecraft.net slash download and download the minecraft underscore server dot exe. Now take note that there is going to be a version number after that and it really doesn't matter because the install process is going to remain the same. So even if you're on a newer version, it'll work fine. Now head on over to your desktop and create a new folder and you can name this folder whatever you want. I'm just going to call it server and you can place it wherever you want to, but I just put it on my desktop for easy access. Then go ahead and navigate to where you downloaded the exe and move it over into the folder that you just created on your desktop. Next, open up that folder and double click the exe to run it. You're going to be presented with a security warning asking for your permission to run the file. And because we downloaded it from a trusted source, I would say the file is pretty safe. The console window will pop up and you'll see a bunch of information. All it's telling you is you need to accept the end user license agreement in order to run the server. And that's what we're going to do right now. When you check your server folder, you should see a couple of files have been generated. The one we are looking for is eula.txt. Open this up with any text editor of your choice. Notepad will do just fine. So to accept the eula, you should probably read it first, but all you have to do is change eula from false to true, and you're good. Save and close the program. So you should be able to open minecraftserver.exe without any problems. So just wait for everything to load up, and you're good. And one quick note, don't stop the server by hitting the X. Type in stop and press enter in the command window. Anyway, that's out of the way, let's go ahead and get people on your server. So head over to your start menu and click on that, and you should see a bunch of items there. What we want is the search bar in there, type in CMD, and you should see command prompt as your first option. Click on that. If you're using Windows 8, the process is similar, just press the Windows key, type in CMD, and it should be right there for you. Once command prompt opens up, you want to go ahead and type in this command, ipconfig as one word, and press enter. You should see a bunch of mumbo jumbo, but sift through that, and what we are looking for is IPv4 address and default gateway. So what you should do is write this down, copy it down, what have you, and once you've completed that, we can move on to the next step. Alright guys, this is the part where it gets a little bit more confusing, so try to pay really close attention and we'll be through it in no time, because in my previous server tutorials, this is the part where everyone got a little bit lost. So open up your internet browser of choice, and once that opens up, you want to go to your default gateway in the web address. So where you see google.com, just replace that with the default gateway we found in the command window. Once you press enter, it's going to ask you for a username and password. It's different for each router, but it is usually admin and admin or admin and no password. So try that, and if it doesn't work, check the description. There will be a link to portforward.com that has a list of default router usernames and passwords. So it has almost every router imaginable, so you should be able to find yours on there and enter that in. Once you log in, you'll be presented with a user interface that will probably be different. Remember, each router is different. And you want to go ahead and find the port forward section of your router. It will be there. You might have to do some digging around. But once you find it, go ahead and enter this information. The name is unimportant, you can use whatever you want, but for the port, use 25565, and for the IP address, use the IPv4 address we found in the command window. Protocol set to both, apply, and save. And you're done, your server is all set up and ready to go. I just want to check if the port forward was successful, so start your server up if it's not already running, and head on over to the link in the description that will take you to a port forward tester. Enter port 25565, press check, and if the port is open, you're good to go. Now you're clear to connect to your server, so open up Minecraft, add a new server, and the name isn't really important, the IP address is. If you're hosting your own server off this computer, which you are, you can type in localhost, and that will get you connected to your own server. If you want to get your friends on the server, which I would think that's the whole point of a server, you're going to need to give them your external IP address, and I'll show you how to do that right now. There will be a link in the description to whatsmyip.org and the big number at the top is your IP address. You can give that to your friends so they can join the server. That is your external IP and it can be accurately traced to your house, so I wouldn't recommend posting it in the comment section of this video. Alright you guys, I hope you have fun playing Minecraft online with your friends. There's definitely a lot to know about servers, so if you want to know more, I've made a couple more videos on the subject. You can click any of these videos or check the links in the description. If this video was too fast for you or you had some trouble with this video, I made an in-depth version of this tutorial. The bucket version is for any of you guys who are looking to add mods to your server, the Mac version is for any of you Mac guys out there, and I've done over 43 Minecraft tutorials, so if you're looking for more information about any of these topics, go ahead and check my channel. And if you want to stay up to date on all of the newest videos, subscribe to be notified when a new one is released. That's it for this video guys, I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.